you going, Cancer? I hope you're a uh, quick daily reefer today. I hope you're happy and healthy, and I hope you're uh, feeling well. We're going to do you a quick reading, see what comes out. I do uh, three different decks, and we'll pull seven cards out of each deck, and we will see what comes out for your spiritual message. I'm going to shuffle the cards up, and then we'll start. start straight up with justice 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 what's under the deck oh, faith and justice you gotta be kidding me i might do this reading a little bit different i said i'll take seven cards we're gonna do this one a little differently okay you've ended something out okay that's a different one and trust your intuition all right you have justice in the wheel straight up all right i'm gonna do this one a little bit differently all right so i can just remember it yeah you walked away from something right underneath the deck yeah for your serendipity and your joy and your happiness and your positivity and that's beautiful in itself yeah you're very happy at the present moment yeah because judgment is going to be laid the fact in the first six card you've got the justice the will and judgment Woo! you walked away from something because there was a lot of passion there but you've chosen to walk to light, towards the light you've done that because of balance you may have been dealing with a lot of two-faced individuals okay but wherever you're coming to she's extremely happy and he's extremely happy so it shows you're about to walk into something very fated for you, whether it's happiness, joy, positivity. This is a card of paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, okay? And it's also, he's dreaming, he's ascending, he's ascending with his ascension there, and it's fated for this to happen, okay? So walk towards the light and continue to walk towards the light. You may have love coming in, you may have love to walk coming towards you, you may have left this relationship just, just because you're a beautiful heart who has love on there sleeve who wears heart love on their shoulder let's see if we can do this because it's way better like this yeah it's starting to work see the <laughs> see the love on the shoulder there it shows um shows that you're a beautiful soul yeah you've got hope in your life and that's magnificent and there's your card okay but it also shows it puts emphasis on the movement okay you have you may have um let's be honest about it you may have left that relationship on the basis that you're getting treated like crap or you walked away from that relationship because you're being treated like crap yeah, and that's why you ended it out is in order to move it. Okay, we've got to be serious about it. Okay, and you know you deserve better because there's somebody dreaming about better and there's hope in itself. So you release the trauma in itself in order to walk towards something new. And if you have a look, somebody may see the connection here as it comes up. They see the cup there. It shows like um, somebody may have hope and love in you. That's beautiful, yeah? Woo, you are somebody's ray of sunshine and they may be stepping towards you, but let's have a look here, all right? Okay, so yeah, justice to the Eight of Cups, to the Knight of Cups, and then the underlining energies of the wheel, the page, and the, the star. It's a little bit better if I do it this way, because it's hard to remember the whole reading here, so let's see how we go. Yeah, you got you, <laughs> you got to be jumping for joy, You're celebrating like thoroughly, celebrating thoroughly. Spirit pulled you away from it. You're the abundance, yeah? Yeah, look, you got two divine gifts in one go. You're the abundance. When I call you the, the, the abundance, Spirit says, give them two cards of abundance. The page of uh, wands is a beautiful card to have. It's um, it's enthusiastic. She's extremely enthusiastic. Wands are passion, they're inspiration. So whatever this is, whatever you walked away from, whatever love's coming, it's going to inspire you in some sort of way. But remember, that's a lovely soul. So it shows you could be waiting on love, but you could also just be a beautiful soul. And that is magnificent. There's freedom in that horse, but purity in the thought. Spirit pulled you away. You could see the strings here. Spirit pulls, so it pulls you away in itself. I'll pull it up. See the strings? Yeah, it shows that spirit pulled you away with hope. See, you have hope. See, as the string connects it to that love in itself. Yeah, there's spirit there. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you're the abundance, and it's beautiful. You're the king of abundance. You're a kind, confident, warm leader, and that's beautiful. Okay, page of wands. Where are we going to now? Woo! There must have been a lot of conflict. Of course, you'd be celebrating if you, you've just left a lot of conflict, okay? Because you had you were fearless, okay? Because you see depression underneath that. You were fearless. It may have been around friends and family, okay? Things that you walked away from because these cups over here are raging on fire here. And you were reaching for it, if that makes sense. But there's a lot of competition there in some sort of way, okay? Because you can see the cups here. Even though that's justice, there's cups there balancing it out. Now, see the two cups here, one here. One's fallen right down and one's on fire. So it shows that the black one, which is the bad energy, it's sunk and the good one was on fire, but you've still walked away from it to choose toward, choose the light, okay? That is a matter of re um, uh, re releasing any burdens, I suppose, while you're learning in life. That's the best way to say that. 
It really, look, see that? You can see how it's come out. There's conflict and there's releasing burdens, all right? So conflict, release the burdens at the present moment. You're learning in life, okay? You're learning about who you are as a soul. You're learning about who you are as a, with confidence, because he's confident. He's a confident leader. He's beautiful. He's a soul. He's a soul, he's an entrepreneur, but he's a soulpreneur. That's the best way to say that. I don't even know if that's a word, soulpreneur. You're, you're releasing it. You're walking away from anything that ostracized you, put obstacles in your path and thought it was okay to do so. Friends and family come straight back out, Yeah. Spirit says, protect your energy. Uh, because, and with the seven here, because seven's in numerology, uh, personal growth, okay? And that's personal growth there. So just pause and reflect on how far you've come and protect your energy at the present moment. Let's put the deck. Woo! Victory on victory. The underlining energy is a victory and protect your energy and protect that, okay? So now we're going to do something different. Now we're going to continue on with the reading. You're healing at the moment. Why? Because you've been through something horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It was, there is justice coming for that, and that's the truth, because I have justice to the wheel. One is karma in itself, which is the wheel, and justice is its receipt. You walked away from something that was horrible, okay, in order to ascend in life, and that's beautiful, because as you ascend, it's going to bring in this love. You do have a connection here in some sort of way, whether it's spirit, whether it's love, whether it's just you as a person, because my reading is more about you, but spirit says, spirit does as spirit does, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Um, <laughs> be <laughs> enthusiastic at the present moment as you level up, okay? Because you're going to release these burdens of anything that ostracized you and left you out and so cold. You, it was definitely friends and family and, and lovers and things like that because there's three cups there, okay? And that's the truth. Woo! You got the justice. I love this new cameras this way. You can see my hands. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Well, <laughs> you can see <laughs> the strength that you have in your heart and it's beautiful, okay? But you have justice to the wheel to the justice. So it shows in your level of ascension what you walked away from. There is justice coming for whatever whatever that situation was. And that's fair, yeah? That's absolutely fair. There was no that's justice too. That's balance, all right? That's um the Libra card of balance. So you may have been dealing with a Libra, but that's not what my uh, readings are all about. My readings are about you as a soul on your journey, and you walked away from that in order to get that. And that's beautiful because you can see that. Woo! There's good news coming in fast. Yeah. Somebody wants to communicate because that's communication, that's hope, and that's love. So we've got to be honest about the readings, okay? So that's communication in the way that's supposed to come in. You have ascended in a way like you could never possibly imagine. Yeah. Oh, she's come back out. Ooh. King of Cups. Your love is beautiful. You're a beautiful soul, and that's magnificent, all right? The Six of Cups to the Page of Wands. Ah, Six of Swords. I don't even know why I said Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgia. Somebody's thinking about it, yeah? Well, that's the truth because look, we come up here from communication. So it could be potentially somebody you know in itself. You're healing at the present moment, okay? Because spirits pulled you in that direction. So you could heal and be enthusiastic about life again. Yeah, <laughs> there's the same card there as the same card here. So it shows in the middle of this row, spirit pulled you out of something in order to have your justice, okay? There's your justice coming in. Be happy, be beautiful, be beautiful. The world's in front of you. That's also a symbol for the world. These are symbols for the world too, okay? Those little reefs there. So it shows you have the world in front of you. Yeah, somebody's coming in with love. You have serendipity because here is the page of cups to the page of cups. So you've walked away from something over here to have your ascension. And over here, there's your victory in your ascension as you become the soulpreneur. Let's call that the soulpreneur for today. Okay, and as you level up because they're all reaching for that light there, but only one's going to get it. So it shows that as you come down the mountain of light, brings you down to learning at the present moment. Learning about all these people that ostracized you, put you out, made you homeless, put obstacles in your life you didn't need. And it was definitely friends, family, or lovers. It has to be because there's three cups there and friends is one, family is the other one, and lovers is the other one. So it has to be, but we'll see. Oh, the lovers! <laughs> Two of cups comes out of it. We're talking about these lovers. You put your head, given too much, all right? You give and receive right in life and if it doesn't come back to you, it's not right. That's the best way to say it. What do they say if... Um, yeah, if you want to see if somebody loves you, release it and see if they come back. It's the best way to say it. And if it didn't come back, it wasn't meant for you. And that's beautiful, okay? Last card before we flick the decks. Yeah, man, these friends, these family, these things that ostracized you, they broke your heart, okay? They broke your heart, but they didn't understand that you're about to level up, baby. About to level up, right? All right, let's talk about this for a second. Let's leave it there. I still got one more row to go, so we'll be doing that, all right? Regardless, all right. The justice card, yeah, the justice. That's beautiful. That's like, woo, you're about to get like level up in some sort of way you could never possibly imagine. That is truth. That is integrity. That is truth. That is integrity. That is balance, balance, balance. So it shows whatever you walked away from here was to balance you out as a soul in your journey. And that's beautiful. 
the truth uh, of that justice is the law of cause and effect. It's being responsible for your choices in life, but it's also being in flow with the universe and being on track for the abundance because we can see that's on track there in itself. Uh, but it's a manifesting mindset because that's what he is. He's manifesting mindset in itself as he's, he's manifesting. You might be manifesting love, but you might might be manifesting wealth in some sort of way because the universe is built on abundance. Everybody wants money, 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 but you don't understand. The spirit could give you 20 bucks tomorrow, but then give you $30,000 worth of knowledge. It's just the universe is 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 built on abundance in itself, especially when it comes down to personal growth. The universe is, you are a universe in yourself. You know, you continually expand like the big bang in itself, but there's justice coming, okay? And that's beautiful, okay? Because that gives you the balance and the equity, the fairness of doing the right thing that integrity, that karma, yeah? Because in between, I've got fate. So it's fated for whatever hurt you over here. Because in the middle of the reading here, I've got the page of wands to pull spirit, pulling your way to your victory. Okay, so we've got a lot of hope over here. And over this side, we've got a lot of conflict and releasing burden. So we can see that around lovers, naive, naivety, I suppose, but it's also an ascension. And we got the three of cups because one there's one cup there, two, three. So it shows around it, there's three cups regardless. So you're dealing with... Three people, relationship with three people in it, a lot of karmics, a lot of things like that, okay? So it shows that because I've also got three swords in there as well. And here's the swords here with three light bulbs, four light bulbs, okay? Because you're learning in life, yeah? We live in the three-dimensional world, but it's actually four dimensions because of time, but time is constant. You can't manipulate time. It shows you're a beautiful soul. You're just going to continue on growing, and that's the truth. You have hope in your heart, and with hope in your heart and wearing heart on your sleeve, it shows with that amount of justice as well that something bad. Something's about to come in to kick that ass. You walked away from something, okay? And that's the truth. It's the best way to sell it. But the best part about walking away from that is you're walking into the right direction towards the light, yeah? In itself. Music and materials. We've got a king to a queen of pentacles that just come out in one go, but we won't be taking that card. We're going to shuffle them up. I want to see what comes out. Justice to the will to the justice. We'll see what's going to come out here, eh? <laughs> There's a lot of illusion there, okay? So release any fear at the present moment, okay? Around any family, Okay, that made you sad in some sort of way. Okay, yeah, and cause conflict, okay? Because it's over here. Here it is. It's explaining that. So release any fear uh, in itself. You could have been dealing with a Libra. You could have been dealing with a Pisces, an Aquarius. I'll just leave it at that for now. The reason is, is I only take the major arcana for the, um, the overall. If I was to take all of them, we'd be dealing with every single sign in the whole entire world. It's their only energies, yeah. It's the truth, you work extremely hard on yourself, yeah? Because the aid of walking away to the aid of materials, pentacles, pentacles, but, uh, pentacles is beautiful, yeah? You walked away so you could grow and it's literally screaming it here in this way because that's balance, that's balance, that's balance because that's Libra energy too. In this deck here, that is a, a, a person fighting off all the thoughts as they make choices, but on the arm is the tattoo of um, the balance here of these scales. Spirit's trying to weigh out the scales for you because the whole thing is centered around this one card here at the present moment and you getting your victory and that's beautiful. The underlining energies prove that thoroughly. But yeah, there's communication coming in in some sort of way, okay? Ooh, eight to the eight. We got the eight of wands to the eight of wands. As we're talking about communication, it's coming in. So release and let go of anything. Yeah, be enthusiastic about life. You're a manifesting beast. Yeah, there's love coming. I'm telling you. If you've got your relationship, it might be a family. It might be... Um, a friend, it might be just something you love, yeah? Absolutely love, but there's a victory in it because Spirit's pulling towards it and there's love there in itself. But it shows it thoroughly. There's a big victory here because I've got the two victories. Out of two different decks, we've got the victory to the victory. Out of three different decks so far, we've got two good news and communications coming in. Out of three decks, we've got two justices. Release any burdens at the present moment. Open that door up here, walk through it, release any burdens. It's a final push in itself because you're learning in life. We are all learning in life every single day. And if you're not learning, you're an idiot. That's how life works. Page of Swords shows that you're about to step onto solid ground anyway, okay, with a lot of friends and family here with that sort of stuff. And like Spirit saying, release the burdens here around any love, any broken hearts, any people with naive love because there's a victory coming in. You don't want to ruin that victory by bringing in old shit. Yeah, don't, don't, just don't do it. As soon as I start talking about this stuff, deception comes out. So watch out for any deception from anybody from the past as well. Because it does put emphasis on this naive love over here and this communication that could potentially come in. Somebody coming in to offer that love. That's inspiration what I'm saying, okay? That's a divine inspiration, okay? Depression. Yeah, put an ending to it, okay? And it's inspired you in some sort of way, okay? Because the two-faced individuals, the best part about these two-faced individuals, they are gone. He walked away from it over here in order to balance the scales out. A lot of tens. 10-10. That might be a number to you. 
Yeah, man. Inspiration. It's my only time. It's my. It's coming down to the last two cards of the reading. I knew you were going to come out somewhere, Trolls and Tribulations. Okay, we've got page to the page. So it shows you've learnt in order to release that uh, sort of stuff. Or learnt to release that sort of stuff around love and broken hearts in order to level up in some sort of way. That's inspiration for somebody there. But the Page of Cups shows... Um, there's a victory there in some sort of way, okay? That's the truth. There's a victory there for you, right? Whether it's you walked away from naive love or somebody coming in with serendipitous love, there's a victory there in some sort of way for you. Because you learned your worth. Yeah, and there's your card. The Literally, the last card of the whole reading is uh, the, 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 the chariot. All right, let's do this. Okay, the justice to the wheel shows that you have justice coming in, so... Look for it. Don't look for it. Just don't spend your time waiting on it. It's the best way to say it. Divine timing is divine timing for a specific reason. You walked away from this stuff so you could release it anyway. So no point looking backwards when you should be looking forwards. He's ascending in the best way. You do have love coming. Now, whether that's a relationship, whether that's family, whether that's friends, whether it's something you love, there's something coming in that you love. Okay, why? Because you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're a beautiful soul. You have hope in your heart and it leads you towards the most beautiful things ever. So you should be enthusiastic about it because spirit pulled you out of some crap over here to get your victory and your personal growth. There's a level up in some sort of way because all that conflict, all that competition and all that backstabbing and all that crap that put you through is five to the five, which is 10. And then in between, I've got the releasing the burdens shows it was for your best benefit. You may not see it at the present moment. That's a light bulb moment for somebody. <coughs> But at the end of the day, this is, there's only, there's five of ones to the five here. So you had conflict, a lot of conflict, and they left you out in the cold. They made you homeless. They put you down. They ostracized. They put burdens in your life you didn't need. Spirit only wants you to be happy. I was talking before, I was thinking about it. Just spirit only wants you to be happy. And that's, that's why spirit continually says across the race to release those burdens and move on. Have happiness in your life. You can't move forward while looking backwards because you're, you're just looking into the past. So yeah, you're the solepreneur, you're an entrepreneur, you're fearless, because that line in the shoulder there shows you're fearless, yeah, and in that fearlessness, you're fearless. And that's, you know, everything is a learning curve in life, and that's beautiful, you should celebrate that, okay, you should celebrate, don't go and celebrate with the people that ruined it and broke your heart and all that sort of stuff, but celebrate the fact that you were smart enough and wise enough to learn, and beautiful enough to continue on in your journey. And that is your victory because there's communication coming in some sort of way with double balance, let alone karma, let alone justice in the end. All right, it's the truth. The best thing about the universe is you put good things out and good things come back. Yeah, and that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so you step towards you as a person because I can see her learning over here to step towards herself in a person. And you can see you continually looking up because over here I've got you looking up, looking up, looking up. And the rest are all just happy except for this one here. But she's about to step onto that happiness. Whereas as she gets out of that boat and onto the shore here, it's a victory. Okay, so therefore we get back to the justice over here. Okay, this is double justice, believe it or not. That's a Libra energy and that's justice in some sort of way because it's a choice. And the best part about it, you need to release any fear and release any, release, just release any fear and be the relax, reflection back into the universe we need. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. You have some sort of communication from some sort of love. Something that has hope. Somebody has hope, okay? It's the best way to say it. And in that hope is a victory because we got double victories. The Page of Cups shows you a beautiful man. This is the best way to say it. So this one here looks like he's offering a cup of sardines or something. All right? But this one over here is the best way to say it. So kind of pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. See the signs on that card there just here? You probably can't see it. I'm going to try and pick it up. I might even figure out a way that I could zoom these readings in, but see the signs there? Yeah, it's like, so just pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, yeah? In itself, the balance you out in some sort of way, okay? There may be somebody coming in to offer, offer love, okay? Okay, and that's the truth, okay? But you got to understand, the way the reading went, when I remember back, it's around this energy up here. That's what I was explaining when I was energy. So the cards come out the way that I want them to come out because I'm explaining something at the present moment. The cards in themselves are beautiful. They're beautiful, all right? You have a beautiful reading. The only thing that come here was two-faced individual, but that's in your in south notes. You don't even need to worry about that because in your north note, you should be celebra celebrating life. The rest of the crap is up here that you're releasing burdens of because you're learning life, okay? And yeah, somebody broke your heart. It's around family and lovers. Spirit pulled that out because of one reason. I was explaining there about the fact that three of cups there can be lovers, can be friends, can be family, okay? So spirits pulled that out with the family, the friends and the lovers here, because there's the friend, there's the lovers, and there's the family. Does it make sense? That's all explaining it. 
the cards explain what I've got to explain. The spirit tells me what I've got to say, and, and if I don't say it, woo he go. It's not that he goes off. It makes me ears ring so bad they're not funny, and then he just starts being funny in the background, and I can't stop laughing. All right, you, Broken Heart leads you towards this card here, all right? This card is perfect because it shows you know your worth, your value, your soul, your human experience in life, okay? Because you got the learnt the trials and tribulations, only come out once, but you learnt the trials and tribulations. It should only come out once. It comes out multiple times. It means you got to relearn the lesson over and over and over again, okay? And that's inspiration from somebody. You walked away up here from the eight to the seven. You walked away from two-faced individuals. Look at this shit. It looks like friggin' Glenda the Bat and Glenda the Good Witch on top. And then look at that down the bottom there. She looks mean as fuck. You don't want that two-faced shit in your life. The spirit definitely led you out of that because we can see that. That's the victory, okay? Because it's now gone. It's in your north node. And it's surrounded by communication. So you're getting the communication, okay? We've got the eight to the eight up here and the eight here. So it does show eight, 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 which is manifestation. You are manifesting beautifully at the present moment because we end on you getting the victory. What's under that? You again, double emphasis on you getting the victory. You can see how the cards work now. I love these cameras. Thank you, spirit. Victory, carried energy is cancer. Queen of cups is cancer. And there's your three victories, okay? So it shows spirit pulled you away from it to put boundaries in place from anybody that treated you as an option, okay? Because they don't understand you. The your abundance and their negative aspects were disgusting. And that's clarity for somebody because I just had the dev devil to the sad, to the clarity of sort of clarity. But you can see that there. That's literally the whole reading of one guy. I can literally just stop it right now. You are beautiful. You're getting the star. There's the star that you wished upon. And there's the three victories that you're getting in. Out of three decks, you got three victories. Plus the extra victory there of being beautiful, All right? You just need to release any fear in your moment, uh, release any burdens that are holding you down. So stop yourself from smiling. Do you know what I mean? Anything that's going to stop you from smiling at the present moment, release it. You need to be happy. You need to accelerate life. Life is too short. A hundred years on this planet. It's too short. 100% too short. All right? You can have a good time in life, but it all depends on your, your attitude and the atmosphere and the way that you look at things in life, okay? No lecturing, no putting down anybody down, no nothing, because you are a beautiful soul, and I know that. Because have a look at your reading. Overall, have a look at it. We have 234 cards. You got one as deception, which is in the, the south, which means you've released it. And this stuff up here is surrounded by releasing so you could learn in life. So that's it. The rest is all beautiful. You learnt your lessons. You got to see me pull the cards out thoroughly and do them all thoroughly so that it knows 100% that it's legit. You got to see my face, that there's nothing weird going on. It's just all the way that Spirit wanted the message to come out. Now, Spirit, yes, Spirit loves you very, very much. If you could do anything for Spirit today, you don't have to do anything for Spirit. Everybody asks everything of Spirit. Yes, that's the truth. Everybody asks everything of Spirit. You want money, you want love, you want abundance, you want futures, you want everything. All Spirit wants in return is love, and for you to smile, spirit's within you. He feels everything, everything that you feel. When you cry, spirit cries with you. So when you're happy, spirit's happy with you. It's the best way to say it. So when you want good things in life, just be happy. And I promise you, a smile can actually really change the world. As you walk down that world, a smile, it will literally change the world. Not only for the world around you, but the world within and the world for you. It's the best way to say it. Walk down the street with a good heart of hope and positivity. If somebody comes in, to fuck around with your energy, protect it. That's what the seven of wands is. Don't allow them to walk in and, and piss and shit all over you. Be the soul that you need to be at that present moment and walk away. If you've got to do, defend yourself because there's a lot of you've had so much conflict in your life. You don't need this crap in it. All Spirit wants for you to do is have good communication, good life, good happiness, good positive. Now, if you're focusing on things from the past, I'm telling you the truth. You've seen the cards come out. They come out in a row. So Spirit could show you the fact that there's justice coming for anybody that's hurt you. There is justice coming. You're going to get the victory. So it doesn't matter anyway. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody beautiful, warm, kind, and confident. Okay. And then we've got the Soulpreneur there. So that's it. The rest are all just childish and, and teenagers, if that makes sense. So therefore, it's only this one and this one. Okay. So you've got an entrepreneurial energy and you're a warm, confident, warm leader who's a parent. That's the best way to say it because she's a parent. The other one's... Like I have specific ways that I do the readings. They're d designed on all the books. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. You learnt the lessons. The best part about now is you get to take the lessons out to the world with hope and happiness and positivity to get the victories to come in. Know your worth. Stick to your values. Know your 
freaking soul is beautiful, man. And nobody should be pissing and shitting on you like you're worth nothing. You got victories on victories on victories. And that thing ends on a victory. And all Spirit's asking you to do is protect your smile. Justice is coming for any illusions that have been put in your life. There it is there. Just double justice with the wheel in between. Double emphasis on the receipt. Okay, there's the karmic wheel. There's double emphasis on the receipt. For anybody that put illusions in your life, the moon is highlighting things we can't see. So anybody went through that stuff over here that you walked away from, it shows that you're literally going to get serendipity because you worked on yourself. There's love coming in. No matter which way I go, no matter which way I go, no matter which way I go, it always ends up with you getting the justice, happiness, and positivity and hope in your life. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day I want you to smile. I want you to just be true to yourself. Be beautiful to yourself. And that's the best way to say that. You've got victories on victories on victories coming. God bless. Have a beautiful day. And just may your blessings be as beautiful as your lovely, beautiful heart. And I know it is. Have a lovely day.